good morning, good afternoon, good evening to some of you uh, in uh, Western Europe, at least in, I think in most of Western Europe they've just uh, started summertime uh, last night, so it's uh, an hour closer to where we are in South Africa just now, in fact in, in, in Central Europe it's the same time. But uh, I promised yesterday that I would at least bring some good news today because, you know, we, we're still reading plenty of, of, of news that we've heard plenty of times, but, and, and, and I'm glad it's getting through now. I saw pictures of, of, of London where the streets are empty, and as I told you yesterday, the, the, the streets here in Johannesburg are also just completely empty, and everybody's on lockdown here, so... It is, it is going in the right direction and it is the right thing at the right time for, for uh, you know, because we need to actually uh, <coughs> take into consideration not only ourselves but also the people around us. And, you know, we should not be stuck for anything to do when we're in the home. Uh, as I say, you know, in, in, in the leadership uh, training, I'm, I'm just going to give in, a, in, in 45 minutes time, I'm going to talk about leadership in crisis and, you know, that we should actually... The best thing is not just to go through this crisis, but to grow through this crisis. But we're not going to talk about the, the negativities of, of coronavirus, and we all know them by now. We all know what you need to do. And, um, you know, uh, congratulations to everyone who is now um, uh, and has been forever since the start been advocating the right things to the, to the, the masses. And, and, you know, it's coming through. I, I see wonderful things happening, and I wanted to bring some, some great news. And there is many, but I, I picked about 17 or 18 of them because I, I, I think we need to hear some good news. And it's not just to, to become more relaxed and say, okay, it's going the right direction and we just can do whatever we want now. Because No, the whole idea about it is that we, we actually take, take this into consideration and it gives us hope. Because as I said before, you know, while there's hope in the future, there's power in the present. And there is a lot of good news coming up. And I'll, I'll start with one. I, I had to write them down because I couldn't remember them all anyway. But... Uh, even individuals who uh, are making sizable donations to, to many needy causes from, from, from uh, health to food banks and all that kind of stuff. And, and we're, we're talking about people, and people can say, yeah, but they've got plenty, they can easily do it. But they're doing it anyway, you know. And uh, pop stars giving their money away and uh, a lot of money to, to causes and even in helping individuals. There is, there's amazing things happening even at that level. And, and that is good, like, you know, it's highly commended. The second one is uh, in New York. There's free mental health support in New York now, which I believe was never there before. But, you know, all these little bits are helping. Hi, Carl uh, Hillsmith. Uh, great to see you here. And Lorraine Jenks, of course. And uh, Lorraine is, uh, in a way, uh, also, uh, she's very much in the, uh, a fighter uh, for, for the environmental... Uh, uh, for the environment and, and you know a lot of things are good for the environment just now because all the cars all the planes of the road and we see water's g getting clearer if i don't know how how clear they are in in, in venice at the moment um, when we see the pictures but i mean there is you know a lot of of, of global warming is, is is getting cut down just now because of this so i know that uh, that, that Lorraine is, is, is delighted about that, and I, but she would always say, you know, let's not be complacent because after this is over, we need to do so much more. And I agree with you, Lorraine. Well done for, the, for, for that cause too. But there is um, community workouts in Copenhagen and other cities around the world. I mean, they, they are working out on their, on their balconies a bit a safe distance from each other, and, they, and, and they're, they're all using this to, to exercise a bit on, on their balconies. And, and you know, it's again this, t this community togetherness, what is really amazing at this, uh, this, this time of need for, for, for many. And then we have hundreds of thousands of volunteers in the UK signing up to, for the NHS, the National Health Service in the, in the UK, to, to, to volunteer. And I also saw one of my friends, he used to be a, a police superintendent in, in Derby, he lives in Derby, and he's just recovering uh, just from the coronavirus, him and his wife both, uh, dear friends of mine, they've done great things, and they are now... Uh, the, the police force are bringing back people who've been retired for the last five years to help out as well. And they, so great things happening there. Uh, entertainment companies donate support for all their people out of work. You know, there's a, a large companies who had to lay off thousands of people. And, you know, it's happening everywhere. But uh, hello, Jacqueline. Uh, and they had to lay off all these people. And it is wonderful that they're actually, again, supporting them financially as well because, I mean, it's... It's got to be a lot of stress on a lot of people, a lot of financial stress, which again, the stress creates more stress inside and, and the knock-on effects. So London has now booked 300 rooms for the homeless. 
people to stay indoors, which, you know, all these, uh, all these things help. And then you got pubs and restaurants donating perishables to the NHS because all the pubs and restaurants had to close. So the things they, they, they could not use anyway, and they've already had, they are uh, given to the NHS to, to distribute and also help, help all these people who are frontline workers who need to help. There's alcohol brands making sanitizer just now. Well, I don't know what it's like in the UK, but all alcohol shops are also shut here. So again, uh, did they have to do it? They, they, they are doing it, and I think it's, it's, it was a desire and, and, and also a great need for, for sanitizer. So they've now turned their, their, their drinks uh, factories into sanitizer factories, and it's, it's, it's all pure alcohol anyway. Uh, so again, great things. Uh, football teams offering NHS staff their hotels. I mean, there is, there is people who own hotels in Greater Manchester. There is some of the footballers who own chains of hotels. They've opened them all up to the to NHS staff who need to be close to closer to their patients and closer to the hospital, so they don't need to travel um, unnecessarily. So again, amazing news, and I'm I'm just keeping going, people, because we need this good news. We need some hope. We need to see this is some enlightenment. Uh, you know, yes, we know all the other stuff by now, and you will be be every day. You'll stare at that, and you'll 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 become aware of it more and more. And um, beauty, uh, live stream concerts are happening. I mean, free of charge, people are live stream concerts. Even uh, even opera are, are showing live stream concerts, and uh, even opera. I mean, why not? I suppose. But I mean, uh, for the opera lovers, uh, there is also live streaming happening. I can't tell you where all this is happening, but you know, the, uh, globally, there's a lot happening. Beauty banks for hygiene and personal care items, so that this uh, where people can come to. Uh, for the for those necessary items like soap and, and water and and personal hygiene that they can uh, offer these supplies to people free of charge you know especially in the time of need these are important because we need to keep keep clean anyway um quarantine dance and sing-alongs i mean i don't know if you've seen the initially i saw the first ones in italy on the balconies people were playing music instruments and 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 people were, were singing along from the different balconies you know community spirit at its best people i mean this is what we need the human touch at its best, you know. So every one of these people on their balconies were singing along and dancing along, uh, exercising along, as I mentioned earlier. You are all making a difference to each other, and and this is that gives hope to the communities, hope to each other, and we need that more than ever before. And you know, and, and it's happening in cities from Milan to Copenhagen to I saw it actually in our local place in in Vigor, and I saw a video where uh, last night there was a a, a, a guy and his his, his wife were. Where at, at the music outside with a, with a, and, and, and given live uh, music with, with lighting on the background as well for about 45 minutes to an hour. Again, well done. It, it just cheers people up again because people are a little bit depressed, uh, if not very depressed, some people. And, and what we need is to, we, together we can do so much more than cheer them up. Then we have supermarkets operating elderly only hours. Well, that is wonderful because... Uh, it is people don't don't get me wrong. This is not an elderly only disease where only elderly people will die. Uh, the young people can be strong, and some of them have already died. Yes, of course, like the flu, it is affecting elderly and uh, infirm and those who have immune deficiencies and whatever much more than others. But be be don't be mistaken that it cannot happen to us, and I include myself there. That's why we're we're, we're on. A, I'm sitting here on my balcony just now. I think it's going to be a wonderful rain shower happen very shortly. But it is happening. Football clubs donating food and money to food banks. I, I mean, there was a lot of football clubs who had food ordered for the for the matches that have now been uh, um, abandoned altogether. So they don't throw it away, uh, but they offer it to to food banks, and there are also substantial amounts of money getting offered by football clubs. In the oh, it just told me my screen management time that I should be on this. But <laughs> yes, it's 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 amazing. So uh, I, ho I hope we didn't lose each other there. And. Uh, but it is it, it is amazing that again you know from 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 small to large I'm going to go into the small ones a bit but these are global things that I've I've researched and I checked them out as well because I, there is enough fake news coming about but this is good news that we all need to hear and all want to hear and you know let's cheer each other up a bit and you can tell this to other people as well so there's free hand sanitizers for a, an elderly in a local shop in in Falkirk Stenhouse Muir and most people don't even know it exists I do of course. Uh, but uh, I mean, they're given free hand sanitizers to to the elderly. Again, these might be small gestures, but to the elderly, they're huge, and they're huge in heart. So compassion and all this care and, and uh, in the communities, it's it's it you know it blows me away, and it it gives me such a warm feeling that there is hope for the future when people are doing these things everywhere. Mm.
there was a, a couple of young kids they they spend their pocket money on buying toilet toilet rolls uh, I don't even, uh, exactly know where it was but they spend their their, their toilet pa their toilet paper part, pocket money on toilet rolls and brought it to the, the, the especially the elderly people who were on their own in the homes and who needed some I mean kids are, are, are so resilient and, and they want to be part of this as well it's not only the adults kids want to be part of something more than than just sitting at home all the time and then uh, food kitchens I mean I saw this uh, a video in, in again in my local town and in Vergoren uh, where where food kitchens were preparing food for those volunteers who this who will actually distribute it to where it needs hi Amber lovely to see you that's my granddaughter um, and it's 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 wonderful that we we have so much of this. I mean, in the community, there is thousands of people in communities. I mean, I, I, I see this regularly in the community from 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 one area in in uh, in Scotland, in in Easter Ross, which is in the north of Scotland, north of Inverness. These there's a lot of small villages like Fern and Ballantore and Nig and, this, and, and, the, and the bigger places like Invergore and Tain, Allness, Dingwall. I can't forget any of these, but. There is all these kind of places. They want to be included, and they want to be. They come together and say, "What can I do?" And and you know, volunteers uh, uh, offering phone numbers, uh, helplines. Because another thing that's happening is, which is very necessary. You know, being stuck in the home. Let's not forget what that there is a lot of unrest in the homes, uh, abuse, and all those kind of things. Um, depression. These people need phone numbers that they can phone because uh, so, or even providing phone numbers. You know, people contacting each other. Uh, it is a huge operation done in, in 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 small pockets to huge pockets, but everybody has taken part. And this is the good news I want to share with you today. I've shared about 18, 19, 20 different things with you today. I hope it helps a bit, because when we have good news, when we know there is hope, there is always hope. This too will pass. And how soon will it pass? I mean, I've already seen uh, also that in China they're already uh, working uh, working away again in, in places where they're, where they're, they're in have shut down. I've seen the, um, I can't remember the center, the, uh, not the SEC in, in London, but this huge conference center is now being used as a, as a hospital for the coronavirus. But uh, I mean, it's all happening. I mean, doors are getting opened, and I mean, not that people come in, but doors are opening, hearts are opening, and 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 everybody is is in this. I mean, you know, there is a lot of people who cannot help out physically. They cannot help out and go out to the doors. But I know. Everyone around the world is, is, is It doesn't matter about race, religion, color, historical differences, anything at all. I mean, this is a time that globally we can come together, globally we can connect with each other, and we, we can all do some good. And, you know, what good are you going to do today? What good are you going to do tomorrow? Because, you know, for us, the only way we can all guarantee that tomorrow will be better if we are going to do something to better ourselves something to improve ourselves and something that we can grow through this crisis and the way we can grow through this crisis crisis regardless where we come from regardless where we are uh, work together if we actually show that there is more than money to this world that there is significance is doing things for others and it might be the smallest things but it might be so important when you do something when you touch your life you might save a life. And I'm going to leave you with that. Have an amazing rest of your Sunday and a stunning week ahead. And let's, people, there is hope. And the, when there is hope in the future, there's power in the presence. We've all got this power. Let's use it. Let's keep using it like the way we're doing. And I want to congratulate everyone who's, who's, who's working diligently, who's supporting each other. And I since well done. Let's keep it up. We'll see you soon. Take care. to find a way to switch it off. Now we'll find this